The oil and gas industry has learned in recent years that oil entrapments may have undergone some changes in its, their geologic past. And it isn't proper in many basins to think that the original stage of tectonics, which includes burial, oil generation, and migration into a structurally high trap, that that stage might have not been altered by a second or third or fourth stage wherein water and oil moved around in the subsurface. We like to call this Mother Nature's water floods. And for the purpose of discussion in this presentation, we're going to look at four slides and show what we like to call the Type 2 residual oil zone, or ROZ. This first slide is a, a hypothetical trap that might be representative of the original stage of, of tectonics and the original entrapment. Sometimes we like to call that the paleo entrapment first stage. And what we're going to do with this one is talk about this left side here, which is a type 2 ROZ, one in which we breach a seal to that uh, trap and, and move oil out vertically. But there are two other types as well, uh, one that would be just due to a basin-wide tilt, and this slide here would show that we've moved uh, the basin down to the west and moved oil out to the east and changed the oil water contact due to that tilt of the basin. Second stage, as I mentioned, is, is a breach seal. A third type of ROZ is, is one wherein we have a hydrodynamic gradient. We'll not discuss that today, but what that represents is an outcrop perhaps of the reservoir formation somewhere out here to the west on the left of this slide, and water moves down dip through the basin, tilts the oil water contact, and moves oil out to the east. We'll leave the discussion of that to a later date. What we've done here is we've animated this type 2 ROZ, and we've shown this fault here to make the discussion a little bit easier. Due to pressure, due to an earthquake in the paleo history of this reservoir, oil may leak out vertically. It may find a new reservoir uh, above the former reservoir, and as you can see in the animation, it accumulates in a, under a seal up above that. And what's happened is the water has moved into the formerly oil-occupied portion of the lower part of that lower trap and moved the oil up and, and created a horizontal bottom to the residual oil zone and a horizontal top, which is also the base of the uh, new modern-day oil trap. And that's the target that we go after with enhanced oil recovery. When the oil saturations are sufficient, we can get that economically in today's methods of EOR.